the time. This is a new day, and uh, my guests are seated. Let's take a look at the front pages of the dailies. The Daily Graphic this morning reports that 31 missions to participate in a Santahin Investors Forum. Aisha Huan was not exchanged for Chinese loan. And I just coco price down was IMF advises government. The big banner headline says, uh, negotiate agreements with Ake, uh, Imani Africa urges government. The Ghanaian Times this morning, Imani Africa raises red flag, Ghana to lose $15 billion oil revenue, if, if what? And no gift mix, no funding from Consolidated Fund, uh, according to Accountant General, he's warning the MDAs. And policeman convicted fined 600 Ghana cities for traffic offense in the matter of the assault of three Ghanaian Times journalists. Uh, nothing has been told of the assault, by the way. So uh, he's been convicted for the traffic offense. But uh, what about the assault? We're following. Use funds judiciously to fight malaria, according to the First Lady. Um, the final newspaper, NIA mass registration starts on Monday from Accra West. And Dr. K.K. Sapon threatens to sue Imani over conflict of interest claim. GPHA staff start one week red protest against MP's concession deal. And Latif Abubakar premieres Christmas in April this weekend. The Daily Guide. 31 embassies storm Kumasi for Otum Force Investors Forum. Interpol Red Alert. Nam One faces 25 years over 4.5 billion Ghana cities fraud. First Lady pushed for zero malaria. Mars Ghana card registration takes off. And finally, the Catholic standard. You know, the Catholic Church and the Pope uh, and, the, and the Chief Imam have been in the news. As Chief Imam calls for continuous religious tolerance, give youth special attention, Archbishop Kofi is calling, and only risen Christ can bring peace to the world at war. Pope and Nuncio commends Christians for peaceful co existence. My guest this morning, Alaji Ali Duaruna, is a member of the NDC's communication team. Uh, he is hopeful to grab the Ablekuma Central seat. Alaji, good morning. How are you doing? Morning. Been a long while. Very, very, very. <laughs> right. You need to focus on one or two things to put, to put body and soul together. So uh, I think that all is well. Right. And Richard Ahiagba is the Deputy uh, National Communications Director of the MPP. Rich, good morning. How are you doing, sir? Rich? Well, Everything cool? Very well. Nice sir. and easy. How's the Friday morning going? Oh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Let's start off uh, the Guardian, the Daily Graphic. It has a story on page 20 that has struck my interest. It comes on the back of the uh, senior minister's uh, viral video, which has been transcribed. And uh, it's talking about Aisha Huan was not exchanged for Chinese law. It says the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Mr. Kwikuas Machreme, says the comment made by the senior minister, Mr. Yao Safumafo, that the jailing of the alleged Chinese alleged minor Aisha Huan cost has no economic benefit for the state, um, uh, did not express the position of the government. Okay. He also stressed that the deportation of the Chinese Galamsee Kingping was not because of the Sino-Hydro uh, energy loan and uh, agreement between Ghana and China, as was being speculated by some groups. Aisha Wan and four other Chinese were arrested for their alleged involvement in Galamse and were deported after the state had filed an only prosecutor. So the state said we have no case. But uh, quickly, a transcription of what Mr. Yao Safumafo said in that video. He says, we have a very good relationship with China. Today, the main company that is helping develop the infrastructure system in Ghana is Sino Hydro. It is a Chinese company. It is the one that is going to help process bauxite and provide about $2 billion to us. So when there are these kinds of arrangements, there are other things behind the scenes. Putting the lady in jail in Ghana is not going to solve your economic problems. It is not going to make you happy or me happy. That's not important. The most important thing is that uh, she has has been deported from Ghana. And then he continues. He says, I am not saying that there are many other things. I'm saying that there are many other things uh, beyond what we see in these matters. And everybody is wide awake. The most important thing is that we have banned this. We have established regulations. We are protecting our environment. That is far more important than one Chinese woman 
who has been deported out of the country. These were uh, the transcription of uh, uh, the transcription of uh, senior ministers. Uh, Richard, I start with you. We banned Galamse. We set up Operation Vanguard. Uh, in, in that direction, Major Maxwell Mahama even would lose his life in that process, sadly. We have had the challenges. People who live near rivers would be drinking dirty water, and we are all worried. The Ghana Water Company has been complaining that its pipes are being choked because of the silt that's draining in and all of that. Then we hear this from the senior minister, and it does appear that the Minister for Land and Natural Resources and other government communicators seem to be watering down what was said by the senior minister. In the meantime, Brigadier General Nudu Mesa says the senior minister did not tell a lie because that is the bitter reality that we must face. Are we losing the war against Galamse? Well, uh, yes, good morning to you and uh, to my brother and your viewers this morning. I want to say good morning to uh, my party leadership. Mm -hmm. And actually, this week, uh, we okay. had some uh, 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 committees that we inaugurated mm -hmm. at the national level. I wish them well and wish them a good tenure. Um, is this issue, uh, is he, the senior minister spoke, we all we heard him. Uh, the one thing I had expected uh, is for the media to engage experts in international relations. Mm. Uh, these things happen, okay? Uh, in international relations, diplomatic relations between countries is akin to friendship. Mm. Uh, certain things are done on account of that diplomatic relations. Uh, I've read uh, the former, uh, I think, foreign, min uh, foreign, uh, foreign minister, <laughs> Mr. Minister Vitok Baho, right. uh, saying <clears throat> something along the lines of uh, Ghana don't have, we don't have any bilateral or diplomatic relations with China to result in letting the woman go. Uh, but the point I think that is important for us to make is that when you have diplomatic relations, with countries. It translates into certain mechanisms and understandings that leads to doing things in a certain way that benefits the two countries. Mm. Now, I'm not saying by any stretch of the imagination that that's what happened, but I'm saying if the senior minister said anything along those lines, we, we have to examine that in a context of international relations and diplomatic relations between the two countries. Mm. Not because there is a deal going on, okay? Because mm. that deal has its own legs. The basis for that negotiation mm. has nothing, if you read the contract, has nothing so, to do so, with this so the international Educate me. Mm -hmm. So the international relations that you have, the bilateral pact that you have, say Ghana and China, does it, does it say that they can come here, destroy our water bodies, and then because we have bilateral relations with them, uh, ask them to go. Because this lady in particular, the Aisha one, was arrested, uh, put before court. Mm -hmm. She was released on bail. She went back there to commit the same crime. That's the gravity of the matter we're talking about. Right. So bilateral pact, international relations, or whatever you decide to call it, it the people who live along those rivers. We agree. Let, let's not, let's not get... Are being endangered. Yes, I am not... There's I'm not, mercury in our water. There's uh, heavy metal in our yes, water. Yes, we're not... We're not we say bilateral we're, relations. We're not, we're not dealing with this issue in the context of uh, Galamse. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the, the relationship that may occasion some of these things, which has happened many times. Well, but Galamse, we're, we're in we, this we, country, we, wait, can't, wait. we can't skip Galamse right no, no. now, unfortunately. But you see, let's... let's if, one Galamse was, was an issue... Arrested. Wait, wait. The Galamse was an issue we've been dealing with, mm -hmm. okay? Decidedly, this government took it on, okay? Could have decided to just leave it the way it was when we came, but we're focused on it. So in terms of the attention mm -hmm. and the seriousness in addressing Galamse issue in this country. You cannot impeach this government. Well, I'm not saying, we I'm, have done I'm not excellently saying nobody well. is impeaching right, the government. I'm right. saying that. So, so I'm trying to let... Aisha one. Mm -hmm. if, you, if what you say holds true... I haven't Aisha, said anything yet. I'm I, only, I'm, I, I'm only yes, explaining but I, I a asked, situation I asked a couple of questions. My, my, this is my question. Mm -hmm. I'm asking if we're losing the fight because somebody... Here's a government that says, I'm fighting Galamse. And I've set up Operation Vanguard and whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I put uh, a ban on small scale mining over a year. And the miners are calling for their licenses to be given back to them. Now, there's somebody who was caught 
pants down mining and breaking the very ban that has been enforced mm. that person was taken to court mm -hmm. granted bail went back to do what she was arrested for and in the end the government filed an only prosecutor and deported her she was not punished and you say that has no connection with Ghana. I'm saying no, 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 no. I'm trying to let you divorce that issue, that Ghana issue we've been talking about, and we can deal with Ghana without having to link it to this matter. The issue I'm trying to explain but to Aisha you. Wait, no, is no, wait, 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 on the account of Ghana. I agree. Just, but, but you cannot lump the. I cannot explain the two issues to you at once. So let's so explain Ghana first. Ghana we've talked about it at length. What I'm trying to let you understand is this: that this government. Okay, it doesn't matter how you like to describe it and fashion it out. This government, you cannot compare our record in terms of dealing with the issue head on. You cannot mm. say we haven't done anything. We have. Mm. Now, if there are issues, with the help of wait, the media. wait, wait. Yes, of course. Mm. Okay, that is assumed that we all we did it together. Mm. When I say government, I'm not saying uh, mm. His Excellency himself by himself. But I'm trying to let you understand that that issue is a given. I'm trying to explain an international issue mm. or a comment that our senior minister made that has been taken out of context mm. that because we don't have that conversation and because we are not having that conversation with the experts who deal in that. Mm. Because we're in this country and a Gitmo detainee was brought here. Why would America give us that person? Because mm. they have some relationship with that. They won't give it to a country adversarial to them. Mm. Okay? Because of an understanding we have with them, look, they can do that. Americans were opposed to doing that, mm. okay, to sending them to Ghana or any other country they send other ones to. But they have to do because of the relationship they have with Ghana. Mm. As you and I speak, there's an American in, uh, in a Russian uh, custody that his lawyers are negotiating to try to trade to do a prisoner swap. Mm. So in international relationship, these things happen. The only thing is that that's a conversation, perhaps, mm. if you want to flag the senior minister, is that that is not a conversation for the kind of public that he was having that conversation mm. with. It's an expert discussion. It happens. Just the same so, way. So in this case, what did we trade? Uh, I'm not for? saying. I'm telling you the concept that he was explaining. So what did we happens? trade Aisha Wan for? The, uh, the contract. We, we found a nolly prosecutor. That means that we have please, no please, case. Please. You see, this document here. I've, I've is, seen the document. You don't, you don't know what document this is. This is the Sino-Hydro deal. I have seen the document. Okay. okay. Is it, no, no, is I'm it, saying it, like you don't know the one I'm holding. But this, this is, is the Sino-Hydro. Sino exactly. I've seen it. There is nothing on this page hmm. that says... Aisha Wang has made anything happen in this. The contract stood on its own. The terms that we agreed to are independent of anybody's presence here or exit from Ghana. Okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is this. Mm. It has nothing to do with that. Mm. But the concept that the senior minister is explaining okay. is one that is done okay. in international relations. Okay. So what the media should have done hearing that comment, is mm. to engage experts and say, is this far from normal? Okay. And for the, uh, for the experts ex tell you, explain this it's to not, this, it's this normal. There's a, a daily graphics transcription of what the senior minister says. It says, we have a very good relationship with China. Mm -hmm. Today, the main company that is helping develop the infrastructure system in Ghana is Sino Hydro. It is a Chinese company. Mm -hmm. It is the one that is going to help process our bauxite and provide about two billion to us. What does this mean to you? Well, the, this deal, when did it come to Parliament? July 2018. When was Aisha Wang deported? You understand? Mm -hmm. So you see, we have to be, in, we have to engage in this discussion in good faith, understanding the timelines and mm -hmm. what is happening. Okay. If we are in a hurry all the time to try to politicize everything, mm -hmm. Really, we're going to get it wrong, and, and we're not going to move on as a people now. In the, in, the, in the end, so how do you explain this happening? Yeah, to the person, say at Insuta or Adansia Crochet, yeah, who had a relative who engaged in uh Galamse, yeah, who has been picked up, mm -hmm. put before courts, and put in jail, mm -hmm. and 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 that's it. Mm -hmm. How do you explain it comparing that to? A government that says we are fighting Galamse, but then we file a nolly prosecutor even when we have arrested somebody pants down. Just like that Ghanaian at Akroche or uh, Insuta or Koko or whatever it is. is How do you explain that? Uh, right, uh, Hughes. This, this is a conversation, okay, in, in, in governance. Unfortunately, our discussion in this country, everything is fair game. 
Okay, elsewhere, some of these conversations are not are not have on national radio or TV like this. Okay, these are deep national issues that are not brought in the front door to be discussed like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the unfortunate thing I would say is that the first the the the, the, the senior minister was having an honest conversation with people but certain content probably was that content was not for that public mm. or that audience okay you understand but the matter at issue mm. is not far from normal these things happen i just give you an example mm. as you and i speak there are plenty uh, americans that are probably in uh, russian custody mm. but this one they are trying to trade for because the guy was an ex-marine you understand the perception is that he was there to spy do whatever that's the allegation by his family say so he went there for vacation and all mm. this they are willing or trying to trade to swap that individual. The question is, is everybody else not equal? But these are things that happen in international relations. So some of these things, when it happens, you, the media, engage people who understand mm. the, mecha the mechanism of these things so that you can engage and have a proper discussion. Mm. But when you bring myself and my brother here, mm. we're going to dice and pass it in a way that mm. makes it political. But really, mm. these are not things that so, you So you're, you you're suggesting that. that we bring experts that tell us that, that it's, understand. It's, it's okay to break our laws, no, to no, file no, an only prosecutor, no, to, no. to deport the person, and to say that, yes, because we have had a sign. Is, is, is that the understanding that, is that it, what now, experts will say is to it us? That your conclusion you are making is also based on the fact that, okay, mm -hmm. this seems to you out of the ordinary. I'm asking for the but ordinary. I understand, but you see, that is a conversation when you begin to put it the way you are putting it. Mm. It sounds like, oh, maybe that doesn't make sense. But that is exactly what. Why do we need a Gitmo detainee in our country? Mm. Under what circumstance is that okay? Nobody understood okay. that. We didn't want it. But on certain accounts, mm. in, the, in terms of the relationship that exists between us and America, mm. they found a basis. Our president, uh, uh, His Excellency John Doman Mahama, mm. found a reason to bring them here. Why do we want them? Okay. To do what for us? You understand? Mm. But in terms of relationship, you would do that because someday you would need something from them. Okay. That's why he did that agreement right. with them. So we are saying that this is a conversation, not ordinary conversation. Mm. The context of it is one that people who are familiar, if you see, if you call people who like, are engaged, have no, no, just excuse me. If you call people who are familiar with these dealings, mm. they will tell you thousands of uh, examples that has happened with our country, with other countries during whatever regime. These things happen in the larger interest of the okay. country. Thank you very much. Alaji, uh, this is what Richard has said. And uh, it is, it I'm, is. I'm, I'm concerned about ending Galamse. And even though we want to quickly say that we have done a lot of, of work, when you travel out, you still see the cocoa brown water. And that's a concern. That's a worry. Are you disturbed? Very disturbed and very embarrassed as a citizen of Ghana today listening to my brothers trying to justify comments by the senior minister. I thought government yesterday made an effort to distance itself from the comment of the senior minister, mm -hmm. only for a government communicator here this morning trying to justify that comment in the context of international relations. He made reference to United States of America. Let me remind him that under John Ajekum Kufo, the government of Ghana signed a treaty with the United States of America, the Non-Surrender Treaty. And based on that treaty, mm -hmm. indeed, the United States says that should any of my citizens commit a crime against <coughs> your country, don't try him here. Mm -hmm. Bring him into our country. We will take him on and try him. And indeed, if he found guilty, mm -hmm. we will jail him that there is an agreement signed between the government of Ghana mm. and the United States of America. Citing the United States of America as an example to justify Ashawan's situation mm. is untenable. Now we see, we do not value human life. Mm. And I think that this government certainly has no clue the extent of damage the activities of Galamsey mm. has on the life of the people who are living around that area. Mm -hmm. Just yesterday, I listened to a voice recording okay. purported to belong to the former regional minister of Upper East, Roxim Bukhari, begging a journalist not to publish a story about a company operating 
in Upper East region. That is sanctioned company. Because that journalist is investigating an activity, a conduct that he thinks is untoward toward the people of this country. And you have a minister who is being paid by the taxpayers' money. Mm. We, don't have, we don't have verification of the tape. That's why, that's why I use the word purported to have. Okay. It's, it is his voice. And I have also read a write-up by the journalist himself that he confirmed that is his voice because he had that conversation with him, trying to bribe him. Mm. And this is where we have reached as a country. It is so sad. You don't see any positives? What positives? What are the positives? Are you saying that as a country, for us to be respected and dignified within the community of nations, it is only when we uphold our laws and respect our laws by ourselves. You cannot be respected within the community of nations where you have a foreigner coming to treat your laws with contempt only for senior minister of the Republic of Ghana who during his vetting made it clear to us that he does not report to anybody apart from His Excellency the President. And you want me to believe that that is not the mindset of the President? No. That, that would be unfair and an, an overstretch, wouldn't that? It is not unfair. It is not an overstretch. If it is not the mind of His Excellency the President, Nana Adudanka Kufadu, senior minister by now should be sitting at home. He should not call himself senior minister by close of day. The very day he made those statements. He says that, well, some of these arrangements will make us economically free. So, so, so today, putting somebody in jail today, will, make you in happy, jail make will not happy. make me happy. So those who, the citizens of this country who have been jailed, who are now serving jail terms, makes them happy. Is that the implication? Is that the kind of uh, argument they want to make? Is it about making you happy when you jail? It is just enforcing and letting people know that you need to live in harmony. You don't have to commit crimes against humanity. That is the reason why you have to enforce the laws of your country. Have we become so dependent on foreign aid? So well, that the thing, they, are, they, are, they are the people going and then postulating that they want uh, what is it, uh, uh, Ghana beyond aid. And today this is the revelation. Ghana beyond aid. And you are telling me because of two people. But let me tell you. But, but you are let, not innocent let me, either, let are me, you? Let, let me tell you but something. But you are not innocent either, are you? We are innocent. We are very innocent. Let me cite an example of $2 billion that His Excellency, the late president, entered into an agreement with Chinese government to secure for development in this country, to provide infrastructure for this country. Mm -hmm. It got to a point where the government of Professor Mills, John Drahmani Mama, were pursuing these Chinese uh, Galamse people, and the Chinese government was uh, not happy about it. They came with conditions. We declined. That is the reason why not all the amount of money, two billion as they promised us, came. Part of it was used to build the table gas. Mm. We have never compromised the interests of this country on the altar of money. Even in the matter of the Gitmo too. In the matter of Gitmo to have they provide any evidence of financial exchange between the Republic of Ghana and the United States of America? Million. It is on a humanitarian, humanitarian ground. 20, 20 million, million for upkeeps of those people. Are we going to use the taxpayers', pay, pay, the taxpayers money to take care of them? Mm -hmm. It's for their upkeep. As they promised the people of this country, if they are voted into power, they will come and reverse that agreement. Have mm -hmm. they done so? Have they? Why didn't they review, uh, reverse the agreement that we signed? I mean, sometimes let's get serious. I am saddened, saddened by the fact that you have a senior minister who is reporting directly to the president, made a statement, and you have a minister who reports to a chief of staff coming to say that. And in fact, in his statement, he admitted that he was not part of the team that negotiated the, the, the deal. Mm. This senior minister was part of the uh, 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 members who negotiated for the deal. And he's saying that part of the condition is that release this woman. And just yesterday, an associate of this woman made a very pronounced, a, a pronouncement, a revealing pronouncement that before him, he saw the woman loading a gun mm. and shooting a Ghanaian. Because of this agreement. Wh which associate is this? He's called Christian uh, 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 Adukufo. 
Okay. Christian Adokufo yesterday on Joy News. He made that starkly revelation. Murder. And yet, my government, your government, is saying that it doesn't matter. Is that what we voted for? And we have somebody who admitted that he was not part of the negotiation. Somebody who was part of the negotiation. This is the reason who released the woman. Only for us to be treated like sometimes we don't even have the capacity to reason. Okay. As, as, as Sumatra is telling me that I should agree with what he's saying in denial than to accept the senior minister. Was he part of the negotiation team? Okay, Richard, unless you have uh, yes, I have, a caveat. I have. Quickly, and you see, then. and, and here, so you have to be fair. Uh, you see how we allowed him to say what he wanted to say? I Allow asked, me I to. I asked him questions. Yeah, no, no, no. You are reinforcing. I asked him you are questions. asking questions that allowed him to speak, but you are trying to, you know, stifle. How many what I'm minutes do you want? No, just no, no. let, let how me. Many even if it's one want? minute, let okay. me talk. talk. Now, you see, we, we need to begin to be fair to ourselves. Now, the first thing I said was, you in the media, when these things come, you're informing all of us. So engage people who know. When you engage people like my brother and myself, okay, who may have no background in international relations, mm. who say all manner of things. Exactly. Al -Aji Al -Aji exactly. Al -Aji you understand? Al -Aji Al -Aji Al -Aji Al -Aji you understand? Mm. He will say things that he said, oh, he's done this, he's done this, which he clearly means he doesn't understand the, mm. the, the space. <laughs> you understand? He doesn't understand what goes in that. A contract here. Perchance, mm. I just brought it with me. There is no reference to Madame Aisha Wan mm. in here. But who put okay? it here? Mm. Because, so if it's not here, why are you referring to it? It's not here. This contract stands on its own, predate anything to do with this woman. We were fighting Galamse here, in, in, by, side by side, negotiating this deal. So it has nothing to do with that. Mm. Has nothing to do with that. Now, if we have concern about what has happened, let's deal with that. To say that, Letting the woman go uh, was in exchange for this, for me, is doing disservice to ourselves as a people. Mm. So the point I am saying is, let's engage what the senior minister said. And I'm saying that let's engage the right people who understand these kinds of negotiations that goes on every day. Mm. Look, I have my father. When he comes home, he's our champion. But what he does out there to come home, to bring daily bread to the house, we don't know. But he's our champion when he gets home. So there are a lot of things that goes on we don't know, but my father comes on is my champion. The point I'm trying to say is that in the larger global community mm. of nations, there are a lot of engagement that goes on, okay, at the micro level. We undertake that as friends and as people, okay? Not all of that mm. is for public consumption. You understand? Mm. Because the country must move, the country must run. Are but we, the point so I vulnerable? just want to... No, we're not. You're speaking for a minute, so can I ask a question now? Are we so vulnerable that it's visibly uh, clear that people have offended our laws? These same laws that were offended and people have been put in jail, Canadians have been put in jail, mm. other nationals, Nigerians, Togolese, whoever have been put in jail, and we file a nolly prosecutor to say that we have no case against you. Does it worry you? Does it concern you? Even that you're talking you, about you, ex yeah, experts, bringing experts yeah, it's, and all it's, of that. It's, I'm trying Doesn't to let it you, make us I'm, too I'm, vulnerable I'm, no, no, no. out there? I'm trying to let you understand. And this is, this is not a forum to have this discussion, okay? But it, your, your, your mind, you blow your mind away if you get to hear other negotiations that other countries have done at our advantage. Mm. Things that they are, they're willing to cede. So certain it things were vulnerable. No, no, I'm saying for our advantage. There okay. are times that you have leverage, mm. okay? And then other countries will have to, just like you and your friend. You understand? That's how it is. Because in the international community of nations, you, you leverage in your, your relationship with other countries. You understand? So what I'm trying to tell you is that the discussion we're having here, this is not a forum for it. And it's unfortunate that the media, we engage this thing in a political space where people who don't understand mm. The mechanism of international relationship are engaging okay. it as if this is far from normal. Mm. You understand? Okay. I just gave you a present example that is ongoing mm. with Russia and the United States. Okay. So please, these are issues. Thank you. No, we, we need to move on. These Thank are you. issues that oh, are well, beyond. Yeah. I okay. need, we, we need, need experts to, to engage. Well, well, let's not we need to move on. Well, 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 let's move on now, and uh, we're getting into page six of the Finder newspaper. Uh, you watching us? If you are not an expert, you. 
not be part of this conversation. Uh, but AMA and delittering operations, uh, 36 prosecutor, the La District Sanitation and Motor Court has sentenced Mr. Kwame Atre to two months imprisonment for littering the Central Business District of Accra. Kwame Atre was sentenced on his own plea due to his inability to pay a 360 Ghana City fine when he appeared before the court presided over by her worship Julia Dodu uh, last week together with some 35 other persons for the same offence. The uh, AMA cleaning uh, by law 2017 prohibits any person from throwing litter, refuse, or any other matter into the drain or unauthorized places which may cause nuisance or block the free passage of running water. Now, the AMA and other NDs are cracking very, very hard. And Laji, you, you have had, I'll start with you on, on this particular one. So, prosecuting these people makes the government happy. Well, I'm, I'm asking. For littering, uh, my, for littering, my question. For, for just littering, mm. you are prosecuting them. It makes you happy, per the analogy of the senior minister. Doesn't it make us clean? Doesn't it make us clean? The extent the, the law says the gravity the law of the says crime. The, the law says yeah. it prohibits any person from throwing litter, refuse, or other matter the into law, gutters, the drain, law, or unauthorized places. The same places. laws in this country prohibit galamse. We have moved on from galamse. No, but I'm just so let's try, talk about I'm just sanitation. trying to let people see the gravity and the way we understand and appreciate issues, because the point is that you are saying that prosecuting crime makes you happy, or probably will not make you happy. Now, if prosecuting crime will not make you happy, and that serve as a basis mm. to let a foreigner out of this country, and your own citizens, just literally, you are prosecuting them, does that make you happy as a government? Mm. Does that make you happy? But the strange thing is that these are things that we expect to happen. We must enforce our laws. We want to ensure that laws are made to be respected. Right. When anybody or a citizen of a country flout the law, that is why we have law enforcement agencies. And it's expected that any time it happens that a law has been flouted, mm. you must go through due process and deal with the matter. So I have no difficulty with these steps being taken by our AM, uh, AM, uh, uh, MME DCs. Right. Mm. I don't have difficulties with that. But the emphasis must be made that we do this to our own citizens, okay. yet we let go the foreigner because the foreigner hold the pest and we advocate for Ghana beyond it. It is strange. Richard, the rings are coming. Uh, the AMA and other MMDs are taking these steps to make sure that we don't have choke drains, without, because that's, that's really been a big problem. Yeah. Is that a way to go? Uh, this man couldn't pay 360 cities. He is in there. Uh, is that a way to go? Yes, uh, huge. Uh, we must uh, ensure that uh, uh, we are being decent. Uh, I think there's an example of a town, uh, I think central region somewhere. Uh, Asinkushia. Asinkushia. Yeah. Uh, Asinkushia. From, Nana pra yes, yes. I chief. think we need to commend them. I have been trying uh, to kind of find some more information about them. and how. I can take you there. Really? Yeah, now, let's, let's do it. Fuel your car, I'll take you there. <laughs> I'll be happy to, because I've been, I've been looking to. And, and you see, we need to learn from that. We mm -hmm. have best practice here in our country. All of us are responsible. When you go to my, my house, I try to be decent as much as I can, not to make the place messy. And we can take that outside, mm -hmm. or, you know, our, outside of our gate mm -hmm. and continue that. Uh, there might be laws that you know, regulate such behavior in the public space, but we don't have to let it get there. Okay. Uh, our president has set a clear agenda that to say he wants us to be the cleanest city in Africa going forward. Uh, that's, that's a thing that we can embrace. Mm. That's something that we can understand or we mm. should understand and embrace. And I think the, 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 the larger population uh, would come along. Uh, and so when we get to a point where uh, there is some deterrence to ensure that people really pick up on, on acting uh, appropriate in a public space, I think it's, the, it's just the best. So what would uh, encourage the enforcers to be uh, even-handed mm. and ensure that uh, where uh, people are flouting the law, let's do because this is for all of us. Right. The cumulative effect of irresponsibility mm. in, in, in littering and doing all these things uh, comes back to hunt all of us. So if there's anything that can be done, uh, including enforcing the law, I think is for the best. Alaji, are we ready for the rains? You have had... We are, we are yeah, not, yeah. I mean, I mean, AMA themselves have even made a public statement that we are not ready for the rain. Mm. They are mandated to ensure that they put, uh, they do the right thing to ensure that at least any time the rain 
camps uh, will not but find AMA now has been reduced to a smaller, a smaller thing. Well, uh, but they have operating within their own jurisdiction. Right. They are saying that we are not ready. Okay. In fact, to the extent that they are telling us that they cannot even distill the odor uh, 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 drains, it tells you that we they do not have even the capacity. The, the, dredge, but, the, the silting but, is going on, the dredging is going yeah. on. What the dredging? About 10 million cubic two, meters of 200 salt. million Ghana cities, they are marked for that project. That under uh, John Drahman, it was done for free. Mm. And we bastardized the person. And then we insulted and attacked him. Today we are earmarking huge sums of money. That money could have gone into in providing infrastructure to our educational system to address the challenges. But yet, here we are. I think, basically, there are certain things that we don't do right. Mm. As citizens, it's important that we should be mindful of our own environment. I agree with him that the cumulative effect of our attitude and conduct certainly will come back to haunt us. Mm. Today, when it rains, you see people trying to find high, etc., flooding everywhere. I think that it is certainly based on our own conduct and behavior. Mm. But can you, do you blame the citizen? Because people have been given and they are paid for. Okay. The mandate, they are paid for to ensure mm. that when you go wrong, you are actually uh, uh, punished, just as uh, this paper is reporting. Mm. And I'm saying that, yes, it's the way to go. In doing so, we must not be selective where we punish uh, uh, citizens of Ghana and saying that that will resolve the mm. economic challenges of our country. But punishing a foreigner, it will mm. never address the economic challenges of Repression our country. I've fact. never heard that you jail an injury that has resolved, I mean, as a result of that, mm. it has resolved the economic challenges of a country where a senior minister mandated under our laws. So to, you, you had to, to go there. Yes, uh, I, but this is... Richard, why are we unable to turn the heat on duty bearers who are paid with taxpayers' monies to enforce these laws. We know what the laws are. We know what the laws say. We know people who break the law, and they do it with impunity. We watch them. And in the matter of the MMDAs, for example, people later, um, for example, in 2013, Mayor Poy said by 2014 January, everybody in Accra must have a toilet in their homes. It's 2019. That simple thing has not been enforced. Why are we unable to turn the heat on people to do what they are paid to do? Yes, yes, and that's, that's the job you have, and that's the job I have. Uh, this is our country. All of us must do it. Somehow we think somebody should be able to do it. We all have that responsibility. Because, see, everyone who is flouting any law, uh, doing anything that affects us as a community, we know the person. They are our friends. They are people we pass by on the street. They are people who are doing it and we, can, we are watching. Mm. It, it, it doesn't have to take anybody special. Okay. To you know, say this one is wrong. Don't do it. Individually, we have to do it. You understand? So this is this is something that you, as you have said, I'll take it, and I want the, our, our viewers to also take it to say that I, as a Ghanaian, can engage, can make a difference. When something, some behavior is so wrong, that will have an impact on all of us. Okay. I can take step to say this one we won't accept it. Right. Don't do it. Let's do that. You see, and this is the balance of what the president was saying mm. and at his inaugural. To say, let's engage. Mm. Let's not be spectators. Let's be citizens. When something is wrong, I can say it. You can say it. Okay. It's not only when we sit on this platform that we can say those when we yes. Alaji Ali Duaruna is a member of the NDC's communication team who's joined us here this morning. Alaji, thank you for your Friday morning. Pleasure. And Richard Ahiagbae is also a member of the NPP's communication team. In fact, he's the Deputy uh, National Communications Director. Alaji has interest in the Ablekuma Central seat. Richard, do you have interest too? Uh, no. Uh, you don't have interest? Uh, no, not at okay. this point. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's say 